It was a devastating scene as hundreds of Scottes watched in anguish as fire swept through their properties. The exact cause of the fire is still unclear, but some residents reported hearing a young lady screaming, fire, fire. From that small point, the fire reportedly spread rapidly due to the combustible nature of the materials used in constructing the makeshift structures. The intensity of the fire was further fueled by several explosives such as gas cylinders inside the structures. A team of the National Fire Service personnel responded to distress calls with three fire tenders but were kept at bay far from the fire source due to the lack of access to the area. This challenge allowed the fire to continue spreading eastward along the railway line. Eventually, the firefighters had to call for more horses before they could gain access and fight the fire from the end, bringing it under control. No immediate casualties were reported as the occupants reportedly escaped on heads. Only a few of the affected settlers were able to salvage their belongings. The incident reignited the debate over why policymakers, city authorities, and town and country planning must ensure the country's laws work in all cases. The Ghana National Fire Service says they could have done better if the affected area had good roads and thoroughfares.